so it has come to this. Good men, torn from their kin, to rage and spill the blood of other men's foes. But we will not be forgotten. Our deeds shall be known, even when our bones are dust scattered on the wind. And our names will inspire the mighty to rise. Hey, welcome back. Hey, what's up? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello. How you doing? Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, some update. This isn't my first time playing a. To this is not my first time playing a Total War game. We're just gonna jump in there. How you? How you looking at this series? Huh? I know I gotta turn the volume down so I can she so can hear me talk. Just tell me about the new features. I mean, yeah, features. Inform me. Select a campaign. Historical. A traditional grounded in reality total war experience. Heroes charge into battle accompanied by a unit of capable bodyguards. Praying to the gods of Olympus results in past effects said historical reality. All units are grounded in reality. Truth behind the myth. Experience the Iliad epic through the lenses of the truth behind the mimith. Mimith. Myth. Heroes charge in battle as single entities inspired by heroic feats. The gods of Olympus bestow passive support in battle and grant access to unique units. Mythic units are interpretations of legends such as the Mintar, a mighty bandit king with a bull skull helmet. Mythological. The gods of Olympus... Is, I can't speak. The gods of Olympus take an active part in the conflict and provide unique godlike battle abilities. Creatures of myth enter battle, such as swift centaurs, flying harpies, and the mighty Minotaur. Embark on an expedition in search of mythic monsters to recruit in your armies. Heroes charge into battle as single entities inspired by the heroic fates. Now listen. Tutorial mode campaign. We'll do we'll do the tutorial mode campaign. We have to select. I already own all the DLC for this, probably. Diomedes. Ajax. Oh my gosh. I don't even know who that is. Menelaus. Agamemnon, Odysseus, Achilles. Achilles looks to be seems to be the uh, the very base, the starting. Agamemnon's easy. That's so interesting. Oh, that's a tutorial character. We'll do the tutorial mode campaign first, just fully until we get into the more fun stuff. Cause uh, this is my first time playing this game. When I loaded up that cutscene, that was the first time I saw that cutscene. We're here. Menelaus. I know how to pronounce that. Menelaus. I'm a genius. King of Sparta. I got my breakfast with me. I talk about this during XCOM. Listen. That's my breakfast. Ajax. You guys don't know Ajax? Yo, if you've ever read, uh, I read, I read the Iliad. Danes? Oh, <laughs> they got Amazons in here? Wow. Fun fact. Amazons cut off their right breast to make it easier for archery. Inaccurate. Trojans. Memnon. Rhesus. These are part of the DLC. They just came out. Sarpedon. Aenus. I don't know how to pronounce that. Paris. Ah, Paris. Ah. Hector. Hector's good. But we're going to play as the Danans. We're going to play as Agamemnon because he is the tutorial mode. My wealth is legendary. 
is pretty solid. Tutorial activated. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll have it all on easy. You'll gain happiness and army upkeep bonuses. And enemy armies may attack rashly when you outnumber them. Enemy forces have lower morale and combat stats, making them easier to defeat. King of Men. Appoint heroes to court position. Appointed heroes receive bonuses and provide faction-wide effects. Being in court increases the hero's motivation. Lion share. Entice or force other factions to become your vassals. Vassals obey you and will give you resources. Tribute. Vassals can be extorted to give more tribute, but will grow to hate you as a result. Recommended playstyle. Agamemnon's roster is most balanced among the... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is my bed. A key in. They're a key in. I'm not familiar with this word. I'm all about this stuff, though. A key in. Same for Danin? I don't even know. I don't know how to say it. Danin. Don. Don. Hold on. We got to get educated. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to Google Chrome and I'm searching these words. Uh, pronunciation, please pronunciation no publications publishing uh pronunciation okay i'll just spell the whole word because i know how to spell pronunciation i did a really good job how to pronounce denayan i gotta click a whole video Dunan. oh it's denan okay there you go <laughs> stupid heroes archer skirmisher defender protector we don't have a fighter champion but we have a, a warlord mentor Unique faction units. Agamemnon's guards. Heavy flanking charge attacked spearmen. Agamemnon's champions. Two-handed axemen and light javelinmen. Ooh, I'm getting into this game. At the onset of the Trojan War, godlike Agamemnon commanded the largest fleet ever to sail the agency. Driven by an all-encompassing lust for power and glory, the king of uh, Mycenae Rallied the many kingdoms of... I just I just looked this up. <laughs> okay, against Troy. Determined to raise the fabled city to the ground in pursuit of his bloody ambitions, the aging warrior still in inspired awe on the battlefield with his heavy armor and the mighty swings of his mace. He and his younger brother, Menelaus, shared a thirst for revenge against Paris, who had seduced the Spartan ruler's wife and fled across the waters with her. The Mycenaean... Leaders, formidable, will, will was also the source of his hubris. In the Iliad, Homer recounts how Agamemnon, through arrogance and unyielding pride, offended Apollo himself, then later provoked Achilles into withdrawing the support of the Myrmidons, with disastrous results. Son of Arteus and... Fucking... You know, now that I'm saying this out loud, I always just read this in my head. I just say, A-rope. I A-rope. Plus 12% to administer efficiency on royal decrees. Plus 4 influence to this province. Yo, let's just go. Seize Troy. Victory conditions. Defeat the first antagonist faction. Occupy, raise 100 different settlements. Control the following three settlements either by direct ownership through vassals or military allies. Troy. Mycenae. Gnosis. That's pronounced Gnosis. I know that. That's for a total war victory. For a Homeric victory. Complete all the steps of your hero hero's epic mission chain. Make sure the following factions are destroyed. Or confederated Hector of Troy, Paris of Troy, Troy maintain at least sixty percent of the following influence in specified provinces. Achaean influence. Six percent influence. Hold Troy. Okay, okay. I would like to leave this screen. There it is. So I played um of the Total War games. I have played a couple of them. I played. I'm looking at it right now. That's why the sound stopped. I played Total War Three Kingdoms and Total War Warhammer. Warhammer was a lot of fun. I liked the way Warhammer worked. Um, Three Kingdoms was a little bit more questionable. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish is that, choices? Is that Paris? And um, what's her name? can't remember. He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You risk the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. That's what was her name. I forget you her name. Have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight. Go. Seek shelter. 
There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. I think it's really interesting to give the option of like mythological, partly mythological, and no mythologicality, whatever, whatsoever. Helen, Helen, a Kian. I'm so, I'm glad they said it. King Menelaus will have his revenge, and his brother will have his war with Troy, just as the gods intended. Let's see what we got going on, Almighty King Amnon of. I always said this word in my head. It's definitely Mycenae, Mycenae. Mycenae stands atop his capital's wide walls, casting a fiery glance eastward to Troy. Mycenae. Hold on, while it's loading, let's look that up. Mycenae. M Y C E N A E. I wish the things just told me how to pronounce things. Pronunciation. Mycenae. Oh, it's Mycenae. Mycenae. Dude, hella fine though. You guys hear that chewing in the background? Not really. Good. It's pronounced Mycenae. I, I, dude, I, I searched pronunciation and Google was like, practice. The hell? Oh. Mycenae. There you go. Here's a slow feature. Mycenae. Look at that. I can make him talk slower. Mycenae. <laughs> Mycenae. I'm dead. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go. It's taking a long time to load. Troy games take forever to load. Let me tell you. When it comes to all these loading screens, I will gladly skip them. I got a little nice feature I can do to pause the video and then resume the video so you don't have to sit through these loading scenes. You'll sit through this one with me. And we'll just talk about stuff. Troy, the Iliad. I don't know if you've read the Iliad. It's, it's a great, it's great. Um, Homer uses a lot of similes. Oh, uh, I guess we're not talking about it anymore. Agamemnon. There is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction. Is that Zeus? And that is war. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Fear not, noble cousins. I stand with you. This is a grave insult to Golden Mycenae. Mycenae, he said it! Enlist the other Achaean kings. The folly of Paris may convince them to support the forging of a great Achaean empire. Achaean, Mycenae. Boy thinks to slight me. Greek, but they ancient Greek. Price. Is modern Greek the same as ancient Greek? Your brother Menelaus will be relying on your full support in this. Menelaus endeavor. is a dumbass. Paris of Troy must pay. Secure your power at home before embarking on overseas initiatives. The warriors of Tiryns wage war on your allies and vassals at Troyzen. We getting frame drops? We getting frame drops? What's up with that? I know, I know. Okay, the video just okay. The game just quit. While ensuring the Trojans pay for their insult to you and your brother. Okay, give me one sec. I gotta make sure I'm not getting too many frame drops. How do I do that? I load up the task manager and I look oh, at my, my GPU. Agamemnon. Observe now your rich and bounteous lands. Press Q and E to rotate the camera. Or, whoa, 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 new controls. Whoa! Wait, I got this big ass map. Now hold on. It's, this is very interesting. I'm a little bit familiar with the layout because I've stared at maps for so damn long. I'm pretty sure Troy's like, way up here. This doesn't seem right. There's no way. <laughs> and weren't they weren't they settled over here on this on this? Am I am I am I backwards? I, I thought the tramp the the camps for Agamemnon and the 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 what, uh, Mycenaeans. Nope. From Mycenae, the Mycenaeans were over here. March northwest towards the land of Corinth. For even now, the Corinthians plot your demise. 
The land of Corinth. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to fix this GPU problem. There's like, it's almost impossible. I'm at 99% GPU. So that's why my frames are garbage on the, on, the, on the recording. I can close Steam Friends. I don't know why Steam Friends produces so much freaking GPU consumption. It doesn't make any damn sense to me. It's still at 99%. OBS is the other 17. Well, maybe my computer will hold. I need a new damn GPU. <laughs> damn. March northwest towards the land of Corinth. The Corinthians plot my demise. So we have a troop of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is this number? Administration cost. This number. Upkeep. Is that grain? Yo, respect. Soldiers cost food. This one costs bronze. That's not upkeep. That is upkeep? Are you kidding me? Bronze. Didn't have did they have bronze? Yeah, they used bronze. They used in, in, in the Troy Wars, they used bronze and copper. Okay, so my army is selected. Might prevail. It wants me to march here. Or do I attack this fool? It wants me to march here. Forward to glory. Listen now as I recount tales from the turbulent youth of worthy Nestor, king of Sandy Pylos. Hey, Nestor, king of Pylos. That is Patroclus's father. It's pronounced Patroclus. It's not Patroclus. I said Patroclus for such a long time. Click the basic battle button. On their way back from a successful cattle raid in the land of Elis, Nestor of Pylos and his men prepare to face a band of pursuers. The Elians will fight to reclaim their lost honor and livestock, but the Pylians will not give up their newfound possessions without a struggle. So I imagine this is Zeus. I'm, I'm, I wager. He has nipples. Respect. I'm loading. I'm loading. I'm checking out my task manager as we speak. I'm black screened. I have black screened. I am back in the game. It stopped responding and now it's responding again. You know, it's doing it again. That's why the music's cutting. You ever like play a game and then it just runs like garbage, but you keep playing it and then your computer, it gets used to running this specific game. Like, is that a thing that the computer does? But then you don't play the game for a while and then you come back to it and the game runs like crap again. Oh, my GPU spiked. We don't have GPU. What's up with that? Hearken to the tale of Nestor, son of King Neleus of Pylos. This young prince boldly deprived the duplicitous Elians of their ill gotten Boldly deprived the duplicitous Elians of their ill gotten cattle. Respect As that vocab. To Pylos, young Nestor is attacked by the Elians. He must repel them and return safely to his father with his prize. Am I mistaken? I thought, um. Yeah, my GPU is still freaking cracked. I need a new GPU, man. Sorry, battle. It's not going to give me the option to do anything. Let's go. Each army is commanded by a hero of magnificent strength and resilience, capable of powerful feats in battle. Them tutorials, though. Ensure your hero stays close to the warriors they lead. Should your hero fall in battle, their troops will likely rout. I like a routing system. Um, They didn't do it very well in uh, freaking Total War Three Kingdoms. Slingers? A key in slingers, the militia, and the militia. Look at him go. Left click on the highlighted hero to select it. You can also select the hero by clicking on the unit card at the bottom of the screen. And this is Nestor, king of Pylos. An army is comprised of warriors grouped into units under a hero's command. We got that. The warriors in a unit will march, fight, flee, or die together. Left click on the highlighted units to select it. You can also select a unit by clicking on this unit card at the bottom of the screen. You can select them all by left clicking and dragging the mouse. That didn't work. 
<laughs> it is time for the army from Pylos to move forward. With Nestor marching beside his men, instilling bravery in their hearts. Go here. Are my controls deactivated? I remember, I know basic Total War controls. Spacebar allows you to see like stuff. I love pressing spacebar. What is this? Interesting. There's there's a speed. There's a speed somewhere. Hello? Can I can I view my 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 men, my my key view of the battlefield is vital to victory. A skilled commander must be aware of the location. Here stands Nesta. Son of Neleus. He is young, but has courage beyond his years, and will lead his Pylian men to victory. Pylian. Pylos. Press escape to continue. Nestor is a defender hero, which makes him excellent at, as a frontline defender, whatever that means. Move the camera to inspect points of something. These brave warriors hail from the sandy city of Pylos. Today they will prove their metal in their precious Look at this freaking beard. <laughs> Got the same fucking facial hair. Oh jeez. How many facial hair variants did they add? I see three. This guy has a stubble. Uh, oh, there's another one. Some about clean shaven. Uh, the weapon of a unit determines its role in battle. In this case, the clubman will fight in melee while the singers attack from range. The Aliens will undoubtedly come from this location. Alien. Mister and his men must march out and prepare to meet them in bloody battle. Oh man. This I've never done the tutorial for Total War. This is the first time for me. It is Honestly, for that's pretty cool. From Pylos to move forward. With Select all your unit control A. Yo! Is that always been a thing? Shift plus left click to second multiple units. I'm just playing around with these controls, man. Control A? That's awesome. Go, boys, go. Can you minimize this, please? Thank you. Toggle unit details. A. What is this? Passive skills. Charge bonus. Damage dealt. Falls of Villy follows a very similar system to the other Total War games. Yeah, th this is a lot closer to Warhammer than it is Three Kingdoms, and that makes me happy. I have so many. I have like 400 hours in Warhammer 2. Warhammer 3 is coming out soon. That's pretty lit. I'm sorry your frames aren't 60. It's my GPU. It's bad. Man, patience. See how the cowardly aliens have mustered their courage and try to avenge Nestor's audacity. Strike them now. Go. Militia warband, Trojan warriors, and Phrygian axemen. Go. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh, I can't do anything else. All I can do is tell him to attack. I'm a strategist. This is pretty cool. Reinforcements arrived to support your army. Together, you can vanquish the foe. Chariots respect. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> With a chariot in a second, clicking behind an enemy will cause the chariot to drive through it. Be aware, chariots are extremely slow in forests. Man, what's their speed? I feel like they're slow as hell. Can I pull up the um display? 72. Things just move faster in Warhammer, I suppose. Look at my slingers go. Once those chariots roll in. Pink. 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 <laughs> this shit kills me. Oh, here come those chariots, though. Wow. 
So chariots would be considered a cavalry unit. So what you do is you have them run through the enemy units. You prepare again. It's a it's a shock cavalry. This concept. You let them get a little bit of distance. Let me let me get a nice line. And then you just turn around and do it again. Oh. We did it. The Aliens flee the battlefield in shame. Their vengeance must wait for another day. Now, in this screen, you have the option of chasing down your enemies. Like, okay, so you won the battle. They're all routing. They're not going to come back to fight us. Um, so I could use cavalry units, ones that are faster, to kill the ones that are slower. And just have them charge over and over and kill them all. End the battle early. I don't know if you've ever played a Total War game. This stuff's crazy. On the way back from a successful cattle raid in the lands of Ellis, Nestor and Pylos and his men prepare to fight a band of pursuers. The aliens will fight to reclaim the lost honor and livestock, but the Pylians will not give up their newfound possessions without a struggle. We already read that. Continue. Do -do -be -do -do -be -do -do. Who is this? Diomedes. Would you like to play the advancatory battle? Yeah. Let's go! Neleus, the old king of Pylos, has taken away his son Nestor's horses, hoping to protect him from the dangers of the war against Ellis. Driven by divine courage and death to his father's pleas, headstrong Nestor leads his men on foot against the alien host. Oh, I'm loading. You know what? While we load, let's go ahead and look for a new GPU. I, I need one. Current GPU is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060, which I feel like isn't that bad. Uh, GPU, General Processing Unit, NVIDIA. Search. Shopping. What we got? 2060 for $701. Are you fucking kidding me? A 1050 for 300? This is some bullshit. A 3080 for 2000. That's the low price. 3090, 24 gigabytes for 2500. Are you are is are you, are you actually kidding me? This costs the fucking single graphics card or gen, general processing unit costs more than my damn whole computer. Even the one that already has. I hate people. Why got to make shit so expensive? Okay, we're coming back. That's ridiculous. Well, I guess I'm not getting a new general processing unit. I'm that rich. Think I can just put down two grand? Ridiculous. Buy a whole new damn computer. Hearken now to another tale of Nestor of Pylos. King Nelius, wishing to keep his son from the perils of war, took away Nestor's horses, leaving him without mounts for his men. I'm loving this. Undeterred, Nestor set out on foot to find the accursed Aeneans. Believing the enemy to be concealed, he led his men to a forested area. Forested area, wow. Can we go? Can we go? What are you loading? What are you loading? I thought it was already loaded. Sheesh! Your warriors stand ready to serve. They only await your orders. Yeah, I know. Look at a big ass army. Troops may be arranged during the deployment phase of the battle for the oncoming fight. Once deployment is completed, the battle begins. Click the highlight and highlight button to proceed. Some skilled warriors can earn their glory outside of Nestor's main army. Their skill and stealth let them carry out swift strikes and daring ambushes. Bows and javelin men. Javelin men. Oh, how do you? Okay. Order the most okay. Vanguard. I see what you're saying. The Use the forest to hide your troops. Some warriors may remain undetected in even the most minimal cover. You see, at least until the enemy draws near. Interesting. Oh, he's hidden. Okay, I see. The wise battle commander uses the landscape to their advantage. Remember these simple rules. 
Take the higher ground, hide in forest ready to surprise your enemies, and look for chances to attack from the flank or rear. True secrets of war. <laughs> Holy moly. An army can be ordered to move as one. Such tight but cumbersome formations become less useful once battle commences. Uh, control G to group your forces. A unit can be ordered to stand their ground rather than give chase to the enemy. By acting thus, your warriors maintain a firm battle line. Um, okay, let's see. Unit groups are assigned to different numbers. Pressing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is how I assign those numbers. Or press control and I press those numbers, it'll reassign them. Understood. Click the highlighted button at the bottom to engage guard mode. Units in guard mode will not leave the position to chase after fleeing enemies. Guard mode. Your warriors will now show the restraint and discipline that will pave the way to victory. That's bullshit. All necessary preparations have been made. You think so? Now, in Ares' name, let battle commence. Respect it. I don't know, man. Honestly, I wouldn't put my archers in the front like that. I feel like that's just... I mean, I understand, so... uh Archers will automatically retreat when enemies get too close. So you put them in the front so they don't have to shoot over your own guys. Carrying death on the tips of their spears. Select all your units. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm doing control G. It's not working. Done. Bad skills. Onwards, brave Nesta. Onwards, God cherished men of Pylos. This guy's still just chilling over here. Halt, backspace, drag out positions, hold the right mouse button and drag. Move, right click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to work this game. It's cool doing the tutorial because I learned, uh, I learned, uh, control A. Select all units. Nestor. Oh, he's got a skill. Rise, soldier. Charon has embarked. Your journey across the sticks can wait another day. That's good. Favor of Aslepius. As Al 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 Alcepius. Exposed flanks of the Alien army. Okay, well, that doesn't seem very effective. Order your javelins to reach the highlighted zone. You know, how about you guys come, like, in the forest? I don't freaking know. Okay, I can't tell them to do anything. Your warriors have spotted hidden foes. Yeeted, bro. Yeeted and spaghetti. So the issue with these javelin guys, right? Enemy units who have left their flank or rear undefended. Attacking from multiple directions may cause the foe to waver and flee. It is a sound tactic, which often leads to victory. Your warriors shower death and despair upon the foe with their javelins. I'll show you what freaking Keep strategy is. And watch your enemies flee for their lives. Like all heroes, Nestor has powerful abilities at his disposal. For example, he can instill his faith in Asclepius the healer. Asclepius! With such divine inspiration, they can disregard any non-fatal wound. I never knew! Uh, Asclepius, Fighting affect these guys. enemies fuels the rage of your hero is under attack. Victory beckons! Nestor must defeat the aliens to claim the glory he is owed. So basically, these archers right now, they're just shooting uh, this javelin unit. I do it. And these javelins are in a flanking position. But the problem with this is, look at this. Uh, now you're just going to run away. Like, you know what I'm talking about? That's some bull. We're all in combat and stuffs, and they're kicking my absolute rear, dude. So much for that flanking position. My archers should target their archers. Look, they're just running away. I mean, it's true that their that their commander has been disabled, which is pretty sweet. Use the thing. Use the thing. Rod of what do you say? Asclepius. That's how that's pronounced. 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 No, that ain't gonna work. Oh man, we destroyed these fools. Where'd they go? Well, how about these guys? 
They're in the forest. Is this a forest? They're clearly in a forest. There's some shrubs. See, that's a tree. They're in some shrubs. <laughs> These guys are still just going. Can't stop, won't stop. Come on. So if I go like this, they will stop targeting specific individuals and instead just target whatever they can shoot at. Asclepius. Favor of Asclepius. They've been getting healed. Nice. See, now they're just shooting at will to whatever is in range of their attacks, which is cool. But now if enemies just walk out of the range, they ain't doing nothing. This right here is why I don't like using my, my range people to flank when enemies are, like, available. I would have just had them sit there, waiting until their commander engaged, and then shoot. That's a J-Dog play. Have you guys go there? This is the way J-Dog plays the game. The, the UI for this is really well done. Compared to the other Total War games I've played. Respect the UI. And so you can see right here, the archers are having a really hard time hitting their en their, the enemy without hitting the allies. Victory is close enough to taste. We won. Crushed by the onslaught of blameless Nestor and his men, the Aeleans flee the battlefield in shame. Their vengeance must wait nice, for Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if the Trojan horse is in this game. That'd be pretty sweet. Play Age of Mythology. Time, your own feats may eclipse the one to you. young Nestor, mighty Agamemnon, wide ruling lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a tutorial, Mister, Mister Guy. Your future holds many bloody battles. You will need additional units. It would be prudent to recruit more warriors to join your armies. There's no way my 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 Cini. There's no way my Cini is. I don't know whatever dude. I don't know anything. King Agamemnon. Recruit. Recruit militia, young spearmen, spearmen, Achaean slingers, or skirmishers. Let's see what we got. We have a crap ton of frontliners, light javelinmen. Let me get some skirmishers. This. Three slots. Yeah. Achaean slingers, skirmishers, and uh, let me just get some militia units. The call of Ares has been heard. Please brave Ares, God of War. Serve you well. However, while you await their arrival, your army will be unable to move. Yeah, I got that. You have so, resolved all immediate and pressing matters, O oh, illustrious Agamemnon. At this time, there is little left to do but move on. Okay, okay. I like the way this is done. Next turn. Defeat the enemy. Defeat the following heroes' army in battle. Almighty King, in the name of ancient Mycenae, you must crush them. I must crush this guy. What, how you pronounce that? Clytios. The warmongers of Tyrans have advanced with their forces, which now threaten your lands and the livelihood of your people. March out with your army and defeat them in battle. Armies are used to defend home cities and to attack enemy cities and armies. Armies may be selected by left-clicking, right-click to move and attack the selected army. Reward. Experience for Agamemnon. So I click on Agamemnon, either his poster or his actual character. And I right-click on this Corinthian, Clytios, and I go destroy him. Your army will soon face the Corinthians in open battle. Have no fear. Athena watches over you. Athena, goddess of wisdom. Grants morale to the spear units. Own armies faction wide and less fatigue in battle for units defending. So he's getting less fatigue. He's getting bonuses. I says own armies though. I don't understand. Pre battle options. Engagements. Engagements such as whether to attack or throw appear immediately in the pre battle's panel. The relative strengths of the forces involved are indicated by the balance power. Bar. The auto resolve option may be selected to have the outcome of that determined automatically, which is this one. 
You will fight an enemy you battle in real time. Click the manual battle button. Obviously, it's going to be a stomp because we just outnumber them so heavily. Clytios, he's a Corinthian from the city of Corinth. He's a defender. My Agamemnon is, 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 is an attacker, a fighter, a forward advancer. The Iliad. Let's go. I know this is a little long episode, but it's the first one. As the attacking force, you may choose to wait for more favorable weather conditions before commencing your attack. Current weather dry, chance of remaining three, no adverse effects or employment. I'm cool with this. Dry. Are you ready to mount your attack? To triumph, you must rout the enemy in a timely manner. Plan your strategy with care. Leader of men. Hero ability, Aristea. Plus 25 points healed per second. Armor melee attack. Freeze stamina unbreakable. Immune to flanking. Immune to psychology. Can hide in a forest. He's a siege attacker. He has 100% missile resistance. And 100% damage resistance. He's immune. He cannot die. He's OP. So here's what we do. My light javelin men are, are skirmisher units. Put them over here in this forest. So they're hidden. That's a little far away, you think? I think. Put them here. What a good spot. The rest of my units. That's not these javelin guys. Let me get a missile front. And actually, you know what? Forget Missile Front. What's your guys' range? Your range is garbage. You're in the Missile Front. This guy has decent range. He's going to come over here. Start battle. Two's going to march forward here. Three's going to come here. Your heroes all have their own unique skills and advantages. Pay close regard to these attributes and let them stoke their rage. Ready to unleash their abilities on the enemy. Okay, they're going to wait for me to come to them. Alright, well that's unfortunate. Holding spacebar, you can see the direction these guys are going to take the little line. I want them to come over this way. Okay, these javelin guys are in a really bad position. So if I lock them, I can just send them. So when you look at enemy units like this, you got to see if they have a shield. You can just look at them individually. They do have shields. Having shields means they're going to be more immune to missile damage, but honestly, I don't give a damn. It's going to be this symbol. No, shoot while moving. Oh, these guys are no, no. What the hell? Your hero is under attack. They can shoot while moving. Trained and ready. Yeah, you guys fall back. Death comes from above, like the arrows of Apollo. Have your warriors take cover from the enemy missiles, or else seek out and destroy the cause of this threat. Attack! Strike hard! Oh my gosh! They're done. They have now perished. What are you guys doing? Go, go, go. So, okay, now look. These guys right here are undefended. So these slingers are just going to start wailing. You see how much, you see the number of projectiles being fired? Versus you see the projectiles being fired from these guys? Who have their allies right there? It's hard to see the white. My frames are garbage on the stream as well. See the enemy break like reeds before the storm. As they flee, cut the curse down. Victory is close enough to Dude, taste. we're so set. There's their lord, where's our lord? He has a rage system that enables his abilities? That's pretty sick. We win and battle. So uh, I'm guessing this is the rage. We won our first battle and the tutorial battles. Deployed, losses remaining. You can see the HP of the unit. Number of kills each unit acquired. Noise, 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 noise. 
I don't know if you, I don't know how you guys are feeling about this series. I'm looking forward to it. I love Troy. I you love ancient Greek victory. mythology. There will be time for feasting later. Food experience, now, respect it, respect the fate it. Of the captives taken in battle. So, lives as a barter. In the times where resources are precious, we shall offer the worthless lives of all captured men to their masters in exchange for necessary goods. Kill them all, increase the morale of units for two turns, or take them on, take on their units to fill my ranks for replenishment. Let lives as a barter. Get that extra currency. My renown grows. I absolutely love how food is the primary currency in the game. I think that's amazing. You have claimed a victory. There will be time for feasting later. Now you must decide the fate of the captives in battle. We did that. Select army. King ah, we have a level. This is your hero's current level. When leveling up, they will receive skill points that could be spent unlocking new skills. When a skill point is not spent, the icon will glow with a fiery outline as it is. Click the level indication to open the skill tree where you can select new skill for your hero. Skills. Ha, ah, here's the skills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, these are the skills that your hero can unlock specific to their class and subclass. Each skill can usually be augmented by spending additional points to unlock special edition skills. Unlocking a skill branch makes the opposite branch permanently unavailable. Obviously. March of Hermes or Reinvigorate. Are these active skills? Rage cost. These are active skills. Increases speed and stamina for 30 seconds. Or just increases stamina over... S speed and stamina or just stamina? This has a much higher effect range. 60 meters versus 30 meters. And obviously there's bonuses. Improved radius, improved speed. Improved stamina, improved cooldown. 36 stamina, that's crazy. Yo, the music is popping, isn't it? You guys hear the little guitar in the background? Let's get March of Hermes. This one's now unavailable. Ability, command, personal, I don't understand nothing. Equipment. Remember you have resolved day. all immediate and pressing matters, O oh, illustrious Agamemnon. At this time, there is little left to do but move on. I, I absolutely love. So, Homer in the Iliad, in a lot of Homer's works, every single time he refers to a pronoun or a proper noun, like uh, those are different things, a proper noun, an individual, he will always, and I mean always, add an adjective right before the name. Illustrious Agamemnon. And repeatedly throughout the script, the script, uh, the epic, he repeatedly goes, the illustrious Agamemnon. Achilles approached the illustrious Agamemnon. And it's always the exact same verbiage. Like, he'll mix it up a little bit. It's so good. And the music, the music is amazing. must be expanded if its citizens are to thrive. Order your masons to construct a new building suitable for your needs. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... Fix some stuff real fast. So I'm not uploading anything right now. So let's close that out. We'll close out task manager because it, it, it's a performance. It's a window. We'll close down. You know, I completely quit discord. Okay. So the only things I have running are steam and OBS and everything else I have to have running like Nvidia and then uh, some other stuff. I don't fucking know. My location is currently in use or whatever. Okay, that should help a little bit. Of Mycenae. We've already got a muster field, a practice range, the capital itself, and some construction slots. What do you want to build? Construct a new building suitable for your needs. I don't know what's suitable, though. Can I, can I, can I, what the hell? The temple? Administration, military, or special? Mycenaean walls. Mycenaean. Siege, siege, siege holdout time. The statue of Agamemnon. Enemy factions are more likely to attack this region. Plus five melee defense for all units on recruitment. Own armies in this province. Plus four influence over adjacent provinces. Walls are always just a solid bet. Let's just make some walls. A wise decision, O oh king of men. The artisans of Mycenae will take some time to complete their tasks. But soon, a new edifice will proclaim your majesty. Buildings are a major way to develop your kingdom. They are built in settlements and can be upgraded. Buildings, military buildings provide unique units for recruitment in the province. 
Click on the empty building slot and select a building for construction. Buildings take a few turns to be completed. Laying the foundations, construct any building. Buildings go straight the city's battery of action. More buildings will aid with the development of your kingdom and with the war effort abroad. It only remains to choose what to construct. Buildings may be constructed in the second settlement on the province over the panel. You can you can read this. I gotta read this too. Blah blah blah. When you click on the intern button, all the effects should play their turn before the next one can begin. I understand. Can I I would like to drop this mission issue, damn it! Move this off of my screen! Take note. The five essential resources. I am food, wood, stone, bronze, and gold. You must manage them with care if you are to rule well. This is uneasy because of the tutorial. My resources are stocked. Conquering foreign settlements or gaining access to resources they pro they produce. Some resources such as gold are rare, while others such as food are abundant. Review resources in the top left corner on your screen. Corinth. Capture and occupy the following settlements. Corinth. Bronze food. Blah, 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 blah. Conquer towns and cities to expand your empire. Recruit troops from your settlements and send them forth to take more territory. Thus, you build ever greater armies and control yet more land. Such is the warrior's way. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to stop right there. That's going to be the end of the first episode if you look forward to the series or not. Honestly... Whether I'm, I'm just gonna record the stuff and post it, like that's just what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm, I'm gonna complete a campaign and then I'll post it, and then complete a campaign, campaign and then post it, cause that's the way I want to do stuff right now. But yeah, let me know if you you're looking forward to it, or if you don't want to watch it, I should just stop putting my time into this, cause I ain't gonna stop putting my time into this. I bought this game, I'm fitting to play it. Only difference is you're gonna watch this at a reduced frame rate because my GPU can't go any higher, and I don't have the money to buy friggin'. Oh, yeah, just spent three grand. Like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? The computer was $1,300. And half of that was apparently the GPU. Ridiculous. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Stay mythical.